Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. With winter approaching, meteorological winter begins on Sunday. I suppose the big question on many people's lips will be when will the rain stop? Because it's been a particularly wet autumn for parts of England and Wales. And I have the answer. There is a strong trend for much drier weather during the next 10 days. Brighter skies by day and also a little colder. We're not talking about snow, but we are talking about some frosty mornings, some chilly nights. A far cry from what we've got at the moment. This is the time of recording low pressure over the country, a powerful jet stream bringing further outbreaks of rain to much of the UK. But fast forwarding to the 1st of December and you can see a significant change. The jet stream in a much more amplified setup, allowing high pressure to build in and that high pressure will become slow moving once it arrives in the UK. For the time being though, well, we still have to talk about low pressure. We still have to talk about outbreaks of rain. That low pressure is moving away during the rest of Wednesday and into Thursday, however, and it's trailing weather fronts no longer such a concern because the rainfall is tending to peter out along these fronts. Nevertheless, southern Scotland, much of northern and eastern England, northern Ireland and Wales, a lot of cloud and outbreaks of rain generally sinking southwards. So dribs and drabs of rain th through central parts of the UK, showers in the southwest, and also some showers into the north of Scotland. But here, increasingly bright skies, sunshine coming through. However, you'll notice the wind. Look at the temperature difference, 11 in the south, six or seven in the north. Colder air is arriving, and some of these showers will be falling as sleet and snow over the higher ground of northern Scotland. That change that's occurring in the north through Thursday extends south by Friday. Low pressure moves away, high pressure builds in, but also we get a dig of Arctic air. And that means, well, it's going to, feel, going to be feeling a lot colder on Friday. But the important thing is that high pressure. And that means many places will be dry. There'll be plenty of sunshine on Friday. Still a few more showers into the north of Scotland and a few running down the east coast of England. Perhaps the odd flake of snow for the North York Moors and the higher ground of Scotland. But for most, Friday's looking drier and sunnier compared to recent days. Temperatures not far from average for the time of year, but certainly a few degrees down on what we've seen through the week so far. And those temperatures plunge by Saturday morning. This is the start of the weekend, a particularly frosty one for most of the country. Minus one, minus two Celsius towns and cities. Below that in the countryside, as low as minus 10 for sheltered glens of Scotland. One exception, the southwest. You'll see a breeze here, and there is some cloud and some outbreaks of rain moving in, potentially for Saturday. It's this weather front which it's skimming the southwest during Saturday, and there's some uncertainty in terms of its exact position. Some computer models have it into South Wales, the West Country. Other computer models have it completely away from the southwest. So that's something we're watching closely. The most likely outcome at the moment, we think, is that it will be somewhere in between. Cornwall and Devon seeing outbreaks of rain, particularly heavy rain for South Devon and parts of Cornwall. So certainly something that we'll be keeping an eye on. But like I say, some uncertainty on its position. Areas of cloud extending from that, but for much of the UK after that frosty start, plenty of crisp late autumn sunshine, a few more showers into the north and the east. Now, whatever happens with that rain in the southwest, it will move away. 10 degrees in the southwest, crisp and cold elsewhere. And then you can see that weather front moving away. It doesn't cross the UK. It just disappears to the south. So whatever happens with it, it is gone by Sunday. High pressure elbows in from the west. And then for many places, another frosty start, but another crisp winter day by this stage. Plenty of sunny skies, a few more showers into the north and northwest of Scotland. Temperatures around average or a little below average. So feeling colder than it has felt through the week so far. So most places dry through the weekend. We've just got to watch that rainfall in the southwest on Saturday. And into Monday, you can see that high pressure holds on. And for, again, much of England and Wales, it's looking dry. But we do pull in a bit more of an Atlantic influence, and that means a bit more moisture in the air, a few freezing fog patches possible for parts of England and Wales for, say, the Monday commute in the morning. Stubborn to clear at this time of year, of course. For Scotland and Northern Ireland, a thicker cloud here, and for, say, central and northern parts of Scotland, potential for some rainfall on Monday and a strengthening wind. 
Now let's move forward to Tuesday and see what happens with that high pressure. Not a lot, it's still dominant across much of England and Wales. Again, a lot of dry weather here, but further north and northwest, there was the potential for some rainfall to affect mainly northwest Scotland. Elsewhere, mainly dry, but yeah, watch out for some fog patches around first thing. Now, into the middle of next week, the main uh, trend is for that high pressure to sink away slowly and we'll get a bit more of a wind, a few more outbreaks of rain affecting, say, parts of Scotland, maybe Northern Ireland, Northwest England. That's a 60% chance that it will turn increasingly unsettled across northern parts of the country, whilst remaining largely dry with, again, some fog patches during the mornings. But there's a 40% chance that high pressure will hold on across much of the UK, leading to, again, mainly dry weather. Whatever happens, much of England and Wales staying dry. It's just how unsettled it turns in the north. And that's the big question mark as we head towards the end of next week. How unsettled will it be for, say, northern parts of the UK? And where will we see that change and, how, and the timing of it? The main trend for later next week, the most likely outcome is that high pressure will begin to lose its influence across the UK. The jet stream will pick up a bit more of an oomph to it and we'll see low pressure systems across near to the north of the country, bringing the wettest weather to northwest Scotland and keeping things mainly dry, if not completely dry, further south. But always the chance that some weather fronts will cross the country from the west or the northwest. However, let's be clear about this main trend, and that is that effectively it's a reversal of fortunes. The wettest weather through uh, next week looks likely to be for the north and northwest of Scotland. Elsewhere, it's mainly dry, but it's always a chance of a bit of rain towards the end of the week. The mostly dry signal, of course, welcome news for those particularly wet areas. But we do have to watch out for those uh, chilly mornings and some stubborn fog patches as well. Of course, you can find out more via the Met Office social media channels, Met Office app and website. Bye-bye.